Okay, now it's time to do the first home activity. Where you need to go to this home activities folder, which is in the main lessons folder. If you go to the lessons folder here and uh, go down uh, on this page and uh, your ac home activities will start here. Home activity 1, home activity 2, home activity 3. So what we need to do is today start home activity 1. I'm going to actually show some more details here because this is the first home activity that we are doing. And uh, we'll be doing this one here, home activity 1. So you click on this home activity 1 and... Uh, and you will see are you ready here that's the first act in the sense preparation thing that you would be doing here and if you are clicking on this it's a pre-activity check just to make sure that you have all the prerequisites uh, in terms of computer software uh, whether you have them or not you know like flash plugin or javascript and so on and so forth so click on this pre-activity one you will see, you know, the activity. First thing that you do is uh, check on the Flash player here. Check on the Flash player. All right. Uh, if you click on this check, you have the Flash player version 2 installed. So your computer will check your Flash player. And if it is the latest version, it will say excellent. Then you can move on to Adobe Reader. Okay. And I can click on Open. And yes, I am able to read the Adobe one here, so which is pretty good. So I'm I'm okay here. Now I go to the Java enabled script. If it is if it's enabled, we can actually go and check. If not, we will go and uh, you can follow the procedure here how to enable the JavaScript um, and if it is there you know you can see that how to change that you know JavaScript enabling and uh, after that we're ready to go submit the data make sure that it is interacting with the database this is how you submit your homework or home activities there is no other way however you should retain the paperwork you don't submit the paperwork but you should retain the paperwork that you have let's say your flavor of ice cream here uh, I will put vanilla okay and let's see if that is recorded here or not and I'm gonna submit that here and uh, yes your excellent uh, your data has been submitted to check your answer click on this click here and uh, you should be able to yes you know it's my name Sharma Pishapati and your favorite flavor is vanilla so it is talking to the database so now I'm good actually so I'll close this uh, I'll close this window here and uh, I'll close this window and I don't need this window either here so now I'm ready to do my home activity here okay when you're doing home activity I'm going in detail a little bit here but every activity will be very similar on the left side here you would have uh, on the left side here you would have the instructions basically what you need to do here and this is what it gives and on the right side is where where the house is is where you would be actually um, looking at um, the activity part first thing that you need to do is view on this this so this is the PDF okay uh, this is the sheet that you will print out and this is the sheet on which you will work 
uh, and do all the calculations and from this sheet you will copy on to the activity straight away into the computer and submit so you will keep the sheet for your records until the semester is over okay until the semester is over uh, if for any reason if you want to claim that you there was a glitch in the software or something like that I need to see this paperwork otherwise I will not um, basically take your uh, activity and grade it okay so now let's go back here to continue with the activity and then uh, so I'm going to continue here so this is where the activity begins for this activity one this activity one our goal is actually to calculate the amount of energy that you use at home So let's click on the first room here, the bedroom. And then when I see the light switch, I click on the light switch here. And uh, then the room will light up. Okay, so I can click on each of these things here and um, figure out how many watts each of these appliances would consume. For example, I'll click on this lamp here lamp consumes uh, about 40 watts here in the last column you can see this this is 40 watts so I'm gonna go and uh, on this activity sheet here I will write for uh, the lamp here in the third one I'll put 40 watts and then you can convert that 40 watts into kilowatts each kilowatt is equal to 1000 watts so 40 watts is equal to 0 0.04 kilowatts okay and the wattage you you need to get from uh, the other wattages you need to get from this you know for example I click on this air conditioner so air conditioner is 1380 watts so I come back here and write down here 1380 here okay now like that you need to go into each room for example here if I go back and if I'm done with you know I could click on this printer I could click on this computer I could click on this clock radio I could click on this you know light ceiling light etc and then when I'm done with this room just click on that again and move on to the second room okay that's how you need to figure out the wattage for each one of those appliances so let's come back here to this so once you fill out this watts column you know and convert that into kilowatts column in the second in the second column here and then what you do is you have to estimate here the number of hours you use that's totally up to you air conditioner typically you know you use at night time because it's a room air conditioner it's stuck you know it's 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 fixed on the window uh, you know sill and uh, you may use it for eight hours or ten hours when you sleep so you put the number of hours there so when you know the power and when you know the time period for which you are operating that when you multiply the two you get the total kilowatt hours okay for example on this one here I could actually put 1.386 kilowatt hours uh, 1.386 kilowatts and if I use for 10 hours that's 13.86 kilowatt hours and again clock radio you have the kilowatts you have the hours that you use clock radio is plugged in 24 hours so you're using for 24 hours so you can multiply and get kilowatt hours once you add all this column here okay so this is in a day that we are estimating in a day there are 24 hours and 24 hours clock radio is running in a 24 hour period air conditioner is running for eight hours and so on and so forth so when you add up all this you will you will get here 
the amount of energy used for one day okay so for one day so now if I go to the next page here all right so total kilowatt hours consumed in one day the top one would be the sum of all the kilowatt hours of all the appliances now the question is some of you may be wondering what if I don't use one of these if you don't use one or two of these you can put zeros for the number of hours which means you don't use any energy for that for those appliances and you may have another question is refrigerator running for all 24 hours you may plug in the refrigerator for 24 hours but it's going to typically use for anywhere between 5 hours to maybe 18 hours depending on how old it is and how efficient it is if it is a very efficient refrigerator you may get by by running it only for 5 hours it won't come on for all 24 hours or consume the energy so if it's 5 hours you can put 5 hours a day here or if it is 10 hours you can put 10 hours it's up to you same is the case with um, for example um, a freezer if you have at home or something like that uh, and also if you have a water heater here you know in the laundry room that water heater also does not run for 24 hours although it is plugged in the number of hours that you use water running water times three or so let's say I run through faucet an hour a day you know for everything you know for washing hands for bathing for washing dishes for washing clothes etc so you should put three hours if you're using hot water running hot water for three hours you should put times three nine hours so that's how it goes and rest of them if you don't use for one or two appliances uh, it's okay you can put zero and also for example if you are using vacuum cleaner once a week for an hour you should put every day one seventh of an hour I'm using one seventh of an hour in a day and then you can calculate your energy consumption like that so now let's get back to the page two here and then um, we'll see so you have calculated energy for one day here okay one day here and the second day uh, or second calculation is for one full week here when you are doing it for one full week you are going to use um, one full week is let's say for one day I'm using here 13.56 kilowatt hours I'm just writing here this may not be the right number whatever number you get when you are doing it for one week you need to multiply this by seven and then come up with whatever number that you have here so that may come out to be certain number and when you are entering into the computer uh, your answers back again you don't have to worry about these decimals you can probably put that as 13.6 round it off to one decimal 13.6 but when you are multiplying it by 7 here you use this actual number here and then multiply by 7 and then you get here uh, let's say whatever number you get here let uh, you're when you're multiplying by 7 uh, it will be 94 or something like that I'm just guessing here 94.65 I'm just thinking about that uh, so you don't have to actually put 94.65 you can round it off to 94.7 and then you can enter it but do not round off here and then multiply by 7 you end up with a different number okay now same thing the calculation 3 is for 16 weeks so you know for one week how much and then you multiply this by 16 so you'll get for one full week now once you get that energy consumption for 16 weeks at the rate of eight eight point five cents here you can see here eight point five cents per kilowatt hour what would be your total cost in a semester you calculate that and put that over here so the way you do it 
uh, is very simple here, okay? Uh, 8.5 cents kilowatt hour, and if you're using, let's say, 1,000 kilowatt hours, 1,000 times 8 cents per kilowatt hour will give you the actual cost, okay? Now, the next two questions will be, uh, how much energy is consumed by lighting and how much energy is used by appliances, okay? How much energy is used by appliances? To calculate this, you need to go back to page one and figure out here, uh, and figure out here, uh, what is your energy consumption uh, for uh, what is your energy consumption for all the lights that you have, all the bulbs that you have? For example, in this one here, we have a ceiling light here, we have a tracking light here, we have a fluorescent light here. So add up all the lights that are the, whose purpose is to produce light for visibility. Uh, there may be some light that is coming off of uh, a TV, don't consider that as light it is so you can you can add up all the kilowatt hours that are used by these uh, lighting devices uh, and then you can come up with um, you can come up with uh, the fraction of energy that is consumed or percentage for example out of a hundred kilowatt hours of total energy consumption if you are consuming 10 kilowatt hours for lighting, then it's 10%. So you can write that 10% here. Uh, some of you may question, oh, whether I should use it for a day or a month or, or, or a week or 16 weeks. It does not matter. The, the percentages will not change. You can use in one day or you can use it in seven days or you can use it in 16 weeks. It does not matter, okay? The most important thing in this activity is identify the specific ways in which uh, you can reduce your energy consumption. This is what we are looking at here. Okay, this is what we are looking at here. It's question number seven. Most of the students, when they lose points, it is on this question. Listen carefully. I do not want any kind of generic one. Okay, I'll reduce four hours on my computer, three hours on this, two hours on that. You know, uh, it, it'll probably save 14% of my total energy. That is not what I am expecting. You will lose a lot of points for that one. Okay, so be careful here. Actually, I would advise you to go back to this home activity one here uh, in this in this folder and uh, typically I have here um, if we go back uh, to this um, and see in each folder you would typically have a grading rubric here if, at the bottom if you look at there is a grading rubric here okay uh, the last one, grading rubric. If you open that file, if you open this file here, grading rubric actually will tell you how the points are distributed. Okay? So watch for this. The table one, which you must fill out, will be about 25 points, and the question seven is 25 points. You will not get all 25 points for writing something there. Okay, not take off a point here or point there. If you don't write certain things, you will lose a lot of points there. So be careful and listen to this very carefully. Okay, so now let's go back actually to this activity and uh, let's continue with the activity here. Okay, so after all the rooms here, so this is where you're entering the numbers. So I go here and kilowatts for my air conditioner is one point. 386 and I'm using for 10 hours so this is the table one which is what you must fill this table uh, sometimes it so happens that you don't fill the table but you do all the calculations and then come back to me after this oh I forgot to add but I could have 
you know how could i do all the calculations without t you know doing table 1 it does not matter you know you can argue all that but you must fill this table to get complete credit that's the only way so you know here it is 18 point you know 13.86 and um, so clock radio is 0 0.04 and I'm using for 24 hours so my total will be here um, Point nine six, okay, zero point nine six. So when I add these up, I mean I can do continue to do all for all these uh, appliances and come up with the total. For these uh, only two appliances, the total is coming out to be uh, about fourteen point eight two. I'm going to write here fourteen point eight two, okay. 14.82 and then I'll continue of course you must fill all 24 or whatever appliances you have here so total energy consumed in here is 14.82 for me with for only two appliances so I need to calculate for oh this is for this is not for one day this is we need to do for one week so I need to multiply this by 7 and I get it for 103.74 okay listen to me carefully when I'm entering these values back in the activity here I could use 103.7 okay uh, but when I'm calculating this I use my full 14.82 times uh, 7 14 uh, so that's that's how you should calculate and then when I'm calculating for 16 weeks I need to use 103.74 times 16 that'll give me 1659 1659.84 uh, I can put 0.8 and that's good enough so when I'm estimating the cost of energy I calculated at 8.4 kilowatt hours so I can put that in there and similarly percentage of lighting you know if it is about 10 percent that's about 10 percent and rest of it whatever is not lighting is considered as uh, appliances and devices so that will be about 90 percent when I'm done this this is the question that I'm actually uh, spending some time here identify specific ways you must address all the appliances whether you can reduce or not listen again whether you can reduce or not you must address all the 20 appliances or 25 appliances that you have at home okay and you may say you know the refrigerator and uh, the air conditioner or you know uh, clock radio I cannot do anything because I need to plug in for 24 hours that's perfectly fine you don't have to reduce your energy but you must say why you cannot reduce energy and then you can come back and say you know this appliance I can reduce for an hour that appliance I can reduce for four hours that comes out to be this much energy I need to be able to verify all your calculations so you must give enough details giving more details is always better than giving less and saying well you didn't ask that you didn't do this you know I'm not writing a legal document here and there is actually in this folder uh, if you go into uh, this folder here there is the rubric so you want to check this rubric okay make sure that you're addressing all those things so this question is very important all right so after you enter that you write something in there and you need to check whether the numbers have been entered or not the best thing I would suggest is when you're doing calculations don't sit on angel log out of angel do all your work and then log back in and then again submit sometimes it says at the end server not you know unable to connect to the server that is an error all your work will be down the tubes so make sure that you connect freshly to angel before you drop in all the data and then you can click here 
and actually check all your answers. And if you're happy with all the answers, then you can submit, okay? And you're not done yet. You need to check whether actually your data is recorded in the database or not. If you don't check that, you will, and if it is not recorded properly, there is no recourse for you. Okay, so you want to click here and see, I enter two rows here and all two rows I'm able to see when I check. Act activity one, check submission. Okay, so, and then you can see all these calculations uh, are showing up. Okay, so you should be able to. Uh, if you are not seeing what you are entering or what you had entered before, now is the time you can go back and redo the activity. You don't have to redo every freaking thing. You can just do, uh, you can go back and start the home activity here and you can leave out all the cells where the data is showing up. All you have to do is change the contents in the cells that don't have the data that you wanted, okay? You don't have to repeat the whole thing. But you, again, you go back here and make sure this check your submission link. You click here and you can check again. Both ways. You can, you can check within the activity and also you can check here by clicking this, okay? If you don't see anything here, and you presume, okay, I clicked it, probably the instructor would see, no, you are wrong. Instructor will not be able to see or grader will not be able to see if you cannot see. What you see is what we see. So only two rows are entered here, rest of them are blank. So keep, be careful and keep that in mind, okay, folks? Now, we, I think we're ready. I'm giving more instructions than required. But um, once you check this home activity and you're happy, then you're done, basically. And then you can actually um, log off and then you're done with the activity. Okay? Um, and then after, you know, typically whatever time period we give you, if we give you one week, you should give us one week for us to grade. If you are given three days to do it in summer times, you need to give us three days to grade it. And after that period, you can click on this graded report and then you can see where you went wrong or what you did wrong or if you have lost any points, where you lost your points, okay? So that's all you need to do. And uh, wish you good luck. Thank you very much.